Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, hey, we've got big news, big unexpected news from Microsoft uh, that just broke out a few minutes ago. Windows 10. Now, we were talking about the April 2019 update. It's now become the May 2019 update. And why? Because they're testing it longer. I think they don't want to be burned by what happened in 2018 anymore. So they are actually delaying it a little bit. Next week, next week, Insider, the um, people on the release preview of the Insider Ring will get testing of build 18.3.6.2. Still, the, uh, up, the update for 2019, but it's become the May 2019 update rather than the April. So I guess I'll have to change the name of my videos. Um, May 2019 is officially the name of the update so it's a little later than usual there's also some amazing changes that are coming to windows 10 starting with feature updates so every six months of course we get these feature updates pushed to us and at some point they were pushed now they're going to appear differently in windows updates you will have regular windows updates and you'll have the feature update show up as a separate update that feature update, it's up to you to install it if you want or not. So that means it won't be pushed to you anymore. It'll be there, it'll be visible, but as long as you don't click the download and install the update, it won't install. It's just going to say, hey, there's a new feature update available. If you want to install it, you can. That means if your system works well and you don't want to go to these new versions, you're not going to have to do it anymore. The only exception to this rule is that if you're on a version of Windows 10 that is about to expire because they're typically about 18 months of life on each version, then you will be automatically pushed to the latest version without you actually having anything to do. It will be pushed to you at that moment. But this is very, very interesting because this is going to be this is a major change major change um, and it comes with um, Microsoft Microsoft corporate vice president Mike Fortin that announced that um, we have heard clear feedback that the Windows update process itself can be disruptive particularly that Windows users would like more control over when updates happen so this is really nice because it's really really interesting to see how this is a major change suddenly so uh, basically it is quite interesting now um, of course beginning with Windows 10 version 1903 which will be called the May 2019 update there will be this new um, way of allowing and deciding when updates are installed and especially feature updates so it's pretty cool, pretty cool, and um, pretty much all versions of Windows, because some of you have talked about it, all versions of Windows will have the possibility to defer updates 35 days. So some of you that didn't clean install of Windows 10, uh, including a couple of you this week, told me, you know, I clean installed, I had 35 days to defer updates, which is kind of interesting. So that means that we are, of course, at uh, a major change in the way that Microsoft is actually doing things. And I think a lot of people were really, really uh, going nuts over this. So this is very, very interesting. And um, I think with the fact that now they're actually um, testing out even longer before the release so that we're going to have this in May instead of April, it's a major, major uh, improvement. I think Microsoft is doing, uh, really taking a great decision here. So uh, major changes coming up. And I think a lot of people will be happy with these changes because they've been, you know, so many people have been complaining about how these updates are pushed and you got nothing you can do. Uh, wow, this is a major change for Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.